time. So, uh, yeah, I made this video about myself yesterday to try to introduce myself to you, the audience, and uh, I, uh, you know, it was okay. And I actually, there's some good parts in it, and that's why I'm doing this video because I didn't necessarily want to throw that video away because there's a lot of good information in there. But it was kind of incomplete, and so I want to do another video about introducing myself and mainly about this whole issue of being a wizard or a shaman i you know that's kind of what i've always wanted to be is a wizard or shaman or a teacher you know and so that's kind of i wanted to explain that a little bit more that's you know the this uh holistic home office is just one is the you know like the vehicle that i want to teach through you know and use my website as a teaching tool and, and um, the whole my main interest is is human nature and civilization you know and the the whole computer artificial intelligence part of my story is it's you know so I, I kind of you know I'm like a double major you know human nature and civilization is my primary course and computer science is my second class you know interest my second interest and so I just wanted to point that out and you know put a couple of videos in my little you know about me story and uh, because the the point is I had a very rough life my, I, I, my mom was 14 that's not acceptable that's not okay when I was born you know, my dad was twice my mom's age, okay? And he would, not only that, he was also an ex-convict. He just got out of prison from the Wyoming State Penitentiary. He spent five years in prison. And he was, my, he, you know, and I guess him and his mom kidnapped my mom. And that's how I was born. You know, they kidnapped my mom and took her out in the woods and I was conceived. And so, and then after that, my life was just a nightmare. I was, all the terrible violence, the poverty, the, you know, mostly just scream and yell and not a lot, not too much like physical violence, but some. And uh, what I want this story to be about is healing and giving, no matter, no matter what you did, you can recover. You can stop doing what it is. You, you know, you have to repent and make amends for what anything harmful that you've done. But but I just want to make clear that you, no matter what you have done, you can recover and be a healthy, no, you know, healthy human being. You know, a lot of issues, you know, there's, you know, harm, harm, practice harmlessness in your life. You know, don't do anything harmful to yourself or anyone else. And make, uh, you know, work on uh, improving yourself. Constantly work on improving yourself, you know, for your entire life. And pay attention to your physical. What are you eating? Make sure you're eating healthy, nutritious food and not processed food you know and I, I made a lot of progress in that area but I still have a lot of progress to make on that and you know stop using drugs thank god I stopped using drugs 30 years ago and I started studying you know physiology and psychology and human nature and civilization and I, I've always been studying civilization but I started studying health and uh I tried to get into like becoming a professional healthcare, you know, a counselor, a drug rehab counselor. But I just, once I started learning about the politics they were teaching in the school, I kind of got out of there because I don't agree with their politics. I don't believe in that. I think it's corrupt. And I got out of it, you know, after the one year of Idaho State University, I just quit because I don't want to learn what they're teaching which essentially is that, you know, the doctor is, you know, put the doctor on a pedestal and he has authority. You know, that's why we had, we, we didn't get rid of the king just so we could have doctors tell us what to do and believe and everything, you know. So, you know, I, it's just, no, 
don't. I don't agree with that. Uh, I believe in, free, you know, all men are created equal and no one is more or less important than anyone else. And doctors are definitely, their education is valuable and they have knowledge that is valuable and we need, and I respect that. What I don't respect is that they, they don't have authority over anybody other than themselves, you know, and, and so, you know, that's, so I got into the computer stuff and I started selling, you know, I wanted to try to sell all this, you know, healing, you know, nutritious stuff. I kind of looked in some that I could, how could I make money helping people? And I've done a lot, of, I've tried a lot of different things and, not, you know, network marketing companies that I've tried out, you know, and um, I just, at this point, I get, the only thing I have going really is the Holistic Home Office. I've always had this idea that I would have two websites, Holistic Home Office and Holistic Human Being. And one would be about making money and one would be about living healthy. And just, and I'm not trying to say I'm a doctor or anything like that. I'm just saying that, you know, you don't have to be a doctor to know certain things like, you know, eat natural whole food and not this processed food. You know, one time I had a job in a gas station and everything they sold in there was poisonous, literally poisonous. You know, it was, there was alcohol, there was pornography, there was a whole bunch of food and snacks and every single one of them was just you know, sugar and salt, and which is okay. Sugar and salt are okay in in moderate, you know, amounts. But when it's just sickening, it's sickening to have all that sugar and salt. And, and you know, it's, that's why there's such a epidemic of obesity in the United States right now is because of the nutrition. You know, even the stuff you buy in the grocery stores is processed food. They take the nutrients out of it so the food will last a long time on the store shelf. And then you eat more of it because you're not getting the nutrients, so you're always hungry, you know, because, and then, but, you, you know, so anyway. That's, that kind of stuff, you know. Don't take drugs. Using drugs is, destroys your body. No, I don't care what anybody says. You know, it doesn't matter what drug it is. Alcohol is a drug. And using any drug, mind-altering substance, altering your mind is degrading your mind. And the damage is both chronic, you know, it's both acute and chronic. In other words, it, it, it being intoxicated is a, dis, is a uh, degraded state of consciousness. And then uh, the damage is permanent, you know. And it, you know your your brain you're killing brains brain cells are being destroyed and not only that but they're you're making patterns in your brain that just they're harmful they're not natural or healthy and they you know they make life difficult and um, they make life shorter you know your life is a lot shorter and uh, and I can tell you after being clean for thirty years that. I like my life. I enjoy life. Even with not having a lot of luxuries or anything like that, I'm a happy camper, you know. And I, you know, when I compare myself to like at work and what's, who gets the work done, I, I can outwork all my, most of the people that work there. You know, a lot of them, they have a lot more experience, so they're kind of smarter and I'm always asking questions, but I mean, I work. And because it, it's, better you know to work hard and not than it is to just try to get out and do it you know not work as much as you can you know and it's like that's like what well, that's not fun you know I want to be I want to be a high performance no matter what I do I want to be a high performance you know high performance holistic healer and teacher is my real main goal in life or a high performance computer scientist and uh, I don't really know that much about computers I, I don't think I'm very good at computers but I, I like using free and open source software the reason I I read the Microsoft Windows user agreement from start to finish back in the 1990s and I said you know my answer was no I don't agree that Microsoft owns the software on my computer and I, I just 
a few years later I started using Linux and I've been using it ever since. And I use Microsoft. I don't really have anything against them owning their system, their ecosystem, the way they're doing it, their platform. But uh, I want, I like private property. Private property is a very important feature of Western civilization and, you know, capitalism and, you know, the, this whole social and economical revolution, you know, starting with the Industrial Revolution, starting with the, really the Enlightenment and all that and, the, the, you know, the Reformation, you know, that whole Western civilization, how it started in the Industrial Revolution. And that was all created by people thinking for themselves and making their own decisions and not being told what to do all the time. You know, and, uh, you know, unleash the free enterprise within yourself. You know, that's what I want to do is teach you how to do that. And it's not me doing it. It's you doing it in your own life. You know, I, I, my stories are, I want my stories just to be a catalyst to make it as easy as possible for you to do that. You know, I, I it's like, I, I just think about myself when I was 20 something. I wish there would have been somebody they're teaching me values and, and how to su succeed in life. And my parents, they were just partying. They were having fun. And we were all having fun, you know. But I didn't get that education. I have struggled to survive. And there's other things I've done that I can't really blame on anybody other than myself. And, you know, that's caused a lot of harm for myself and, and other people. I've caused a lot of trouble in my life and I regret that and want to try to make up for it if I can, as much as I can. And, you know, I just, you know, most importantly, I want to be a Baha'i. I believe in Baha'u'llah and I want to serve the cause of Baha'u'llah. I, you know, that's a very important, that's the, the most important part of my life is being a Baha'i, even though I don't think I'm a very good Baha'i. I'm still pretty contentious and which is not, you know, Baha'u'llah, Baha you know, that's one thing, you know, conflict and contention are strictly forbidden in the Baha'i faith and that's not exactly you know, conflict and contention are kind of normal for me, you know what I mean? So, you know, and I'm getting better. I'm a lot better than I used to be. And so I just, I like life and I'm enjoying life and I want to help as many people as I can do so also. You know, all this poverty and stuff is, and, and drug abuse that is drag, you know, it's an epidemic proportions. And... I want to help solve that problem and I'm working on it. I'm always working on it and I'll keep working on it for as long as I'm alive on earth. I'm going to be working on that and uh, it's fun. I like, I, you know, I think that I am, I'm kind of, you know, my dad was a hypnotist and a psychic channeler, even though I didn't really know him a lot about him, you know, I'm, I think, and so I don't want to do any of that kind of, Playing with magic is not a good idea. I don't approve of that. It's wrong. I don't think that's a good idea. But I do consider myself to be kind of a wizard, you know, wise man or, or a shaman. You know, I had some knowledge because of reading. I, I didn't just, I wasn't born with it. I learned it by reading. And I mean, I'm talking thousands of books. And, you know, like the Bible and the Quran and scientific books literature and all I've been seeking the truth my whole life and I have a lot of knowledge to share and I like sharing it and so that's what I do and I you know my I've tried to thank God my mom introduced me to the Mormon religion and I got interested in religion and spirituality and you know and that's kind of kept me out of a lot of trouble and so I'm now I'm a Baha'i I found out about Baha'u'llah and I became a Baha'i and uh I practice it to the best of my ability, you know, and there's no, there's no wizards or, or there's no clergy in the Baha'i faith. So I, I'm not even trying to go there or anything like that. I'm just trying to be a, a helper, you know, I want to help people. And so that's, here comes my 15 minutes. So I, I was, you know, I just want to clear that out. 
I like to help people and that's what I'm trying to do. So thanks a lot and have a great day.